So most of the time we kind of, you know, are afraid that we're gonna be annoying, we don't wanna reach out to people, but 80% of the sales are actually made on the fifth to 12th contact. So you don't ever just wanna reach out to somebody one time and then just be like, oh, well she never responded, so yeah, she doesn't want it, because that is usually not true. Even if you follow up with them one time after that, you want to keep following up. Following up is major key. The next couple of pages give you scripts to use. And so on this sheet, this is where you're gonna track your people. You're gonna put their name, and if they're a warm chat lead or a facial box, you're gonna write where you got them from. That way you know what to say and you can remember where they're from. You'll put their phone number and then what I do is I write the date that I contact them the first time. So today is August 6th, yeah. 5th. <laughs> today is August 5th. So if I'm booking people today, I'll write August 5th. You can also write whether you called or texted them or if you left them a voicemail and you'll just write T, B, M, or C. So the first script that you're gonna use will be on day one. Now I, you know, you can customize this. You don't have to follow it exactly, but I think they have a really good you know, standing on the script. So if you're doing your lead boxes, you can say, hey, Gracie, this is Brianna. You entered your name into a drawing at Francesca's and you won a spa pampering package. Your package includes a pampering session with me with a swag bag and some awesome goodies. I'm so excited to meet you. But first, I have a few questions for your appointment, but first I wanna confirm that I have the right person. So I do say something like that, just to make sure I've got the right phone number, because sometimes people's handwriting is trash and you text the wrong people. <laughs> so when they say yes, usually they're like, yes, it's me. This is Gracie, I'm so excited. And then um, what I do is I give them a few details of their appointment and when I'm available. So I don't ask them those questions. <laughs> okay. What do, you, what do you ask? Okay, so I will read y'all what I use. I know we want to know what it is. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I say, thank you so much for getting back to me. Your beauty experience includes, and I like to romanticize so that they can get excited. So I say a luxury instructional facial. You'll get to enrich and soften your hands and lips with our satin hands and lip treatment. You'll get to indulge in a soothing eye gel that's gonna soothe and calm tired eyes. You'll also get a choice of your mask treatment, including but not limited to our deep cleansing charcoal mask destined to open your senses and our revealing radiant facial feel, leaving your skin radiant, glowing, and silky to the touch. Plus a hot towel treatment and much more with ultimate high-end luxury products. This is a gift for you. <laughs> this, is what I have this is a gift for you and up to five of your girlfriends. You being the guest of honor will get an awesome swag bag and discounted shopping. No obligation at all, only offered if you fall in love with something. Your appointment will be held at my studio and I give them the address, 701 Pratt Avenue Northwest. I have openings for this Saturday at 10, one and four or Thursday evenings. What would you prefer? So when I'm booking people, I only give them two weeks of my schedule at a time because yes, I run this show. And I don't want to book one party here and one party three weeks and then another party in four weeks. And it's all sporadic. Like I want to be seeing as many people as I can in a two week increment. And so I will say like, what's today? I'll say I've got openings this Saturday. 
or I'll say I've got openings Saturday at 10, 1 and 4 or weekday evenings. And then when they say Saturday work bus, then I'll say, okay, I've got the 10th or the 17th. Or if they say Thursday, I'll say the 8th or the 15th. But I don't give them my whole month mm -hmm. because I don't know. I might want to go to the beach or something. Or I might have to work with consultants, you know. And so you don't want to. So do you only party on Saturdays or do you party on? I party every Saturday. Like that. Of course, but is... not during the week. No, yeah. So usually I'll pick one day during the week to party because not everybody can party on Saturdays. So yeah, so I'm partying Thursdays and Saturdays. That's it. Unless I feel like being extra nice and partying another day. But yeah, you decide when you want to party. So you give them those options and then they will pick from that. After they pick, and then I'll say, awesome, I'm so excited to meet you. Start thinking about your guest list. I'm going to send you a confirmation in a couple of days. And so that gives them something to work on. And then you definitely want to make sure you send them a confirmation. That way they can give you their guest list and you can start following up their guests and getting them confirmed for the appointment. By text or by email? I text them. Mm -hmm. Text or call. Yeah, no, I don't email. But yes, and so after two days, I get her guest list and then I reach out to her girls and just say like, hey, I'm so excited to meet you for Gracie's pampering session. My name's Brianna. Um, and then I ask them, you know, what is your skin type? Combination of oily, normal or dry? Do you have any skincare concerns? Um, is there anything that you're interested in learning about per session? Um, are you over the age of 18? And then like, have you used Mary Kay products before? So I ask them those questions. And then I also send the guests the address. That way everybody knows where to go. Um, and they're not all like bothering the guest of honor. So I think that it would be a nice treat for the people who are here to get that text, those text messages. Oh, yeah. Yeah, would you please? Thank yeah. you. So if you'll send it to Emily, Gracie, and me, I'll make sure that Andrea and Yesenia also get it. Yes. So what a nice treat for you guys. When you show up, you go up. That's what the motto is. And in front of you on the table, you'll have one of these little guys for being in the inner circle. This goes on the back of your phone. Thank you. You're welcome. And then I can tell y'all what I say when they don't respond. Yes. Andrea and Yesenia, I'll make sure y'all get these too. I'm leaning into the TV, the microphone's in there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? It's okay. I don't know what we were watching something or not. It's in Spanish. I couldn't read it. It's important to watch the laptop. I'm going to turn the volume on. She said, did you really just do that? You can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bars get loud. Yes. <laughs> I always have some I can hear bed. I can see it. Always. Uh, you do? Yes. Because I, I want to make sure I hear it right. I <laughs> Where Where is it on there? On my, when I watch TV. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always mm -hmm. like that. I have sometimes. I do have, I do have hearing problems. I should wear hearing aids. <laughs> I don't, um, that's why the TV's like it. 56. <laughs> <laughs> I've blown people out the room. They're like, crazy. I said, I can't hear. <laughs> it's okay. It's your loss. <laughs> okay. So after they book on this note section, I write books, the date and time that they booked, and I highlight it. That way I know who exactly, like I can see, boom, 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 who has booked an appointment and what days. Okay, so if they haven't booked, that's where you go to script. Um, two, day four. And so this power booking plan is on like three day increments. And so every couple of days, you're going to send them text. And so on day four, you're going to do script two and you're just going to say, Hey Gracie, this is Brianna, just checking in real quick. I didn't hear back from you and wanted to be sure I have the right person.
person? And either they'll say yes or no. They'll so be you like, basically send the same text again. <laughs> yeah, I send this text. Gotcha. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Sometimes if I forget to send them day four text, I'll just go straight to day seven because when you kind of take it away from them, they definitely respond. Oh, and so day seven, hi, Gracie, this is Brianna. Totally don't want to bother you, but just wanted to see if you're interested in claiming your spa package. If not, no worries. Just let me know so I can draw someone else. Have a wonderful week and thanks for getting back to me either way. And usually after that, they definitely respond. So sometimes I'll just I'll skip the day four script and just go straight to that one. So you leave an, you leave a voicemail, a voicemail or text, mm -hmm. whichever. Mm -hmm. okay. And so you'll write whatever day you're on the date that you did it. That way, you know, when was the last time you contacted that person. Okay. And then you'll go to day 11. Hey, Gracie, this is Brianna trying one last time to reach you regarding our pampering package. If I don't hear from you, I'll assume you're super busy right now and we'll draw someone else and re-enter you in the drawing in a few months. And so after day 11, if they still haven't responded, then that's when you wait a couple of months because I have booked people like six months later. Like it does happen. Um, I guess but, you shouldn't throw those leads away then, huh? That's okay. why you want to write them down because you don't want to have all these little pieces of paper all over your house. Because <laughs> you don't know where they came from. Yeah, and so this thing is amazing. Um, and so on here, it says when she says yes. So those are the pre-profiling questions. I ask those questions um, in my confirmation when I'm getting the her guest list. I don't ask them right there. Cause I want to give her some time to like get her friends excited, get people involved, get people invested. When I, uh, when I go to pick up my facial boxes, I use little envelopes. Mm -hmm. That's good. So yeah, I that's what. Remember which came from where. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so this last sheet this is handling your objections and so usually you use these with people you don't i mean these are with people that you do now i feel like i don't feel like i ever really use these oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. i agree so yeah. these are going to be with like your friends and your family co-workers um and so if you've asked someone to book a party and they say they're too busy this would be the script to use. And so you would say, I totally understand, Gracie. You know, I'm a really busy person too, so I can appreciate that. But the nice thing is I can cater to your hectic schedule. I can come to you and it only takes about an hour and I can save you an enormous amount of time. You'll never need to go to the mall again for your cosmetics. I teach skincare and glamour tips and would enjoy pampering you. Does that sound like something you would enjoy? Of course, she's going to say yes, because who would not enjoy that? And then you get her booked. And if she still says no, then you can just be like, well, have a great day. <laughs> See you later, friend. Regal to ya. But these are really great ways to handle objections. Or, you know, this is a really great one. I wouldn't want to waste your time. I already use brand X. So something that you could say would be great. You absolutely appreciate good cosmetics. It would be fun for me to treat you and get your feedback as to how Mary Kay compares with what you're currently using. Keep in mind that there is no obligation to purchase anything and you can have a glamour item at half price just for giving me your opinion. I just get credit for treating people to makeovers and you may enjoy learning some new cosmetic tips. Which is better for you Tuesday or Thursday? So that's where she's like, well, I already use Clinique. Well, then you can be like, ba bam. And when you kind of take the pressure off, usually they're like, all right, fine. And then they try it and they're like, oh man, I didn't know Mary Kay was a Clinique thing. Mm -hmm. Y'all got any questions about these objections or about like this process? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so what I would do is I would definitely keep it in my a place where you're gonna 
super easy and a folder and a binder. Me and Christy both use some kind of like binder to work out in. And then y'all have your um, your planner. <laughs> so this is like what my planner looks like. So I write all my parties, their names, the times that they booked, all our Mary Kay training. Everything is in pink so that I'm like, all right, this is all Mary Kay stuff. <laughs> And I know that I'll be working. Um, but you want to make sure that you transfer those parties onto your schedule. That way you're not like forgetting something. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. I mean, I still got these things in here from like a year ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I keep all of them. I keep, yeah, I keep all of them. Because you just never know. All right. So great job, Rihanna. Let's give her a little bit of feedback. What did y'all learn new today? Great. Um, I'm going for <laughs> Um, everything. I mean, as far as I like the way you, uh, I like the way you present stuff. You know, you're so confident. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I have been doing this for like four years, so that helps. Yes, practice, practice, mm -hmm. practice. It does. It and it's difference. never going to be perfect. So just let go of that. You got to put your personality yeah. into it. You, know? you do. It's just, and we're constantly tweaking and how can we pivot? How can we do it better? Because um, it's never perfect. We need to be in constant, you know, just evaluation of how we can do things a little bit. So if you're doing a one-on-one -on -one party, mm -hmm. do you do it the same way? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you start from the beginning mm -hmm. to the end. Because mm -hmm. okay. I was like, is there a shorter version? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, like when you're doing just one-on-one, -on -one, just one person? Yes. Yes, but it's more casual. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't stand up in front of them and flip through that flip chart. Mm -hmm. I would sit with them. And then basically make it cover. more conversational. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Man, I knew that I heard something in one of my director classes that I wanted to pass to Gracie, mm -hmm. but I, I got to find it at some point. Why the pass to me? It was something that this national said, and I was like, ew, I That's need to give this to Gracie. Yes. Um, it was really good. I'll, I'll get it to you. Okay. Well, you're doing great. I think you should just keep on going. Okay. Howard Coaching. So we're going to, that's what you want me to do, right? Okay. <laughs> So, the best thing that you can do for yourself, for your hostess, and your business is to coach your party. Um, sadly, just because you book them, it does not mean your work is done. <laughs> you you got to coach them. And so, your chances and the odds of your party holding grows exponentially when you keep in contact with your hostess and when you coach them. Did you get, you got this? I don't know, did I? <laughs> and I just stuck everything into one thing. And I think you would stuck it all in right. the same way. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, there we are. Yes. What's the next one? Yes, coaching, power coaching. Yes. Okay. Okay. So after you book them and you've got them all excited about what they're going to get at this pampering session, the next most important thing is getting their guest list. And so that's why I always tell them, hey, in a couple of days, I'm going to follow up with you and get your guest list. The sooner you get their guest list, the sooner that they have other people invested into this experience. Because if you wait until two days before the experience and they forgot to invite people, they will cancel. And if they don't cancel, they'll show up by themselves and you just have one person at facial versus potentially six people to facial. And so when you do it early on, she is going to get people involved. And then if sometime during the week, if someone can't make it, what she's going to do is find somebody to replace her. And so that's why you always want to get the guest list from the jump, because usually if they're, they're not going to be like inviting their friends and then like, be like, Hey y'all, we're not doing that anymore. Like 
dogs. That rarely happens. Right. It does happen, but very rare. So get your guest list within 48 hours. So that's plenty of time for them to ask people. And then like I said, once you get your guest list, you want to reach out to them just to introduce yourself. Sometimes I send them a selfie so they know who I am, what I look like. And I'm just like, hey, my name's Brianna. I am your skincare and glamour specialist for Gracie's appointment this Saturday at one. I can't wait to meet you. I'm going to be sending you some skincare questions just so I can get to know you better, get to know your skincare concerns, and that way I can take better care of you at your appointment. And then I'm just like, I'm so excited to meet you. And usually, you know, you can keep in contact, like, how's your day going, blah, blah, blah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. That way you can kind of build rapport. So I like calling. I used to call people, and then we got into this texting thing. But, like, when I called people, I was able to, like, really get to know them. And then I could kind of, like, strategize who I was recruiting before I even got to my party. Like if I had someone that didn't like their job, I would write on their sheet, talk to her about the business. She works at Walmart and doesn't like it. Or if she's a stay at home mom and she's like, I really miss being in the workforce. Then I'd write stay at home mom, miss is being in the workforce. That way I had like focus, like where I could like, you know, really gauge in with them at the party. So pre-profiling, that is going to save your party. Just real, it just builds rapport. Cause they're not gonna wanna cancel on you after they get to know you and see how amazing you are. And so show them your awesomeness. And then after I get their guest list, I will follow up with them like five days before. So excited for your appointment this week. If I haven't pre-profiled them, I'll pre-profile them at that point. And then two days, two or three days before, we're still on, can't wait. And then the day before or the day of, just make sure. And usually I'll say something like, hey, you know, there's gonna be some construction, you know, just be weary about that, something like that. Cause they will forget. So that is coaching. Um, Everyone kind of has their method, and I didn't bring one of those, but I use a, um, a like hostess sheet where I can put their guest list, their name, their appointment. Just take a picture of that. Yeah, I can post it. Okay. Send it to y'all. Chrissy uses a note card. So you just gotta find like a process that works for you because you wanna stay on top of your parties, on top of your people. Um, that way you're prepared. For Prepared when they come. You don't have any money. Yeah, I, like, I never leave home without out those. Yes. I might have to call somebody. Yeah. Um, I'm home without what? My note card. Yes. Um, but what I love about that sheet is like you can put their name. You can see if you pre-profile them. I write the notes on there, and then also it gives you like a checklist of things to do like before the party after the party or follow ups. That way you can be like, who, cause sometimes after you like them seeing 20 people, you don't even remember who was at whose party. And so the nice thing about like mine and Chrissy's system is like you will know who your hostess was and who her people were that she brought with her. That way you can kind of remember where everyone was from. Right. So you do, you definitely do want some kind of system in place. Send out thank you cards. Um, I don't. I send out, you know, I follow up. You want to follow up with them, you know, two plus two plus two. So after two days, hey girl, it's Gracie. So glad that I met you. I had such a great time with you. Like, how's your skin feeling? How are you loving your products? And if you want to like, you know, share the opportunity with her, that's a great time to do it as well. You know, I just thought you were phenomenal. Like you work so hard, such a boss lady. And I think, you know, I know that I'd love to work with somebody like you. Do you think that we could like grab coffee sometime? Maybe talk a little bit about the American opportunity and I can just get your opinion or however way you want to share with her. But follow up is key. And I will tell you when I was a new consultant, I didn't want to follow up with anybody because I didn't want to be annoying. 
and it makes a difference because you ain't gonna get those reorders if you don't follow up with people. <laughs> But I followed up with a girl and she was like, oh my gosh, I really love that charcoal mask. I'm going to get it when I get paid. And then I asked her, you know, what she thought about the business. And she was like, you know, I think I would really like to do that. Let me talk to my husband a little bit and then we can get together and talk. And so those are just, you know, opportunities that you miss out on if you do not follow up. So never be afraid to follow up. Because I think it's better to, you know, I mean, follow up with them versus not and lose them anyways, you know? It's that relationship. Do you send um, a little discount coupon or anything for their next purchase? So I do a, um, I have this thing called a Cadillac Club and every dollar that they spend is a point. And when they reach 225 points, they get $25 off their next purchase. But they can also get points for hosting parties, sending me referrals. They can earn points from different things. Um, and so that's the program I use for my clients that I have purchased. Um, I know that Christy has mentioned that she sends like a little coupon to you, someone that hasn't purchased to kind of entice them to try something. Um, so that's a really great. I actually have started sending them to everyone whether they make a purchase or not. It's like, why not? Maybe they need to get that one last thing. Mm -hmm. So that's true. But I love the Cadillac Club too. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. like it. And what's great about the Cadillac Club is like you can put like your Facebook group on there, and your clients will add themselves to your group. Like they'll go find it. Mm -hmm. And it'll just be like, you know, don't miss out on any promos join my Facebook group and I've had people they'll register on my website, join my Facebook group, and that way they can we can see each other's faces and whatnot. Any questions? No. <laughs> Y'all got any questions? Well yes and you <laughs> do you have any questions? Oh, so, so I don't actually have any questions, but I do have some input on what you're saying about like following up with your customers and your leads. Um, a lot of you know that I like, you know, I was doing all the wedding planning and everything like that. Um, I was working Bowling Green with bridal leads. And for a lot of them, you know, I was trying to book as much as I could in like April before, you know, because I gave myself time in May and June to finish off all my wedding stuff. Um, and really just communicating with those leads is very important. I actually still have some bookings for like next month. Um, I was supposed to have them uh, this month, but she had, she ended up getting sick and she decided to book for um, September, but just keeping that communication with them um, gave me the time to be able to relax and do all the planning that I needed to do. So that's what's awesome about this business is that you can, you know, kind of work it how you want to. And just like Brianna said, I mean, if you don't want to give, your potential lead um, all your whole month, you just want to give them two weeks, you can do that. Or if you're like, if you're honest with them and just communicating with them like I was, um, and I was like, hey, I'm not booking in May and June for my wedding, um, but I will be booking in, you know, August and September, if that's something that you want to do. And I'll follow up with you at the beginning of the month just to remind you and, you know, keep communicating with them. So that follow up is very important because you can hold those parties and it keeps you from having to cancel or, you know, go to do this back and forth with rescheduling all the time. Agreed. Thanks, Yesenia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. We're not, we're not done yet. Some fun things to share with you guys. Great.